What's going on, y'all? This be your boy, Scotty by Nature TV, and we're here for a brand new episode of Yes for the Mess, where we talk about celebrity gossip, hot topics, and all things reality TV based. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful hump day, and I intend on doing the exact same. What's going on, you guys? Now, before we get into today's mess, let's talk about what we got coming up on the horizon. Mm -hmm. Now, as you guys already know, that yesterday was Tuesday, which means that Love and Hip Hop came on, which means on tomorrow night, you we will be right back over here on Scotty by Nature TV at 8, 7 Central to talk about Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. It would be me giving you the real tea and Josiah's World TV, so make sure you guys tune in for that. And then on next Friday, September the 15th, it will be the second episode of Boys Night Out. Thank you guys for giving us our highest rated season premiere in the history of Boys Night Out in all four seasons. The highest rated uh, premiere was on our very first season, which is our least favorite season out of all of them. But y'all tune in for that. But anyways, thank you guys for tuning in to Boys Night Out. We had a great time and we intend on giving you guys more content like that. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get into the mess, honey. Now, as you guys already know, Love and Hip Hop has been on the um, blogs, on social media. Everybody's been talking about it. And I know that Love and Hip Hop Atlanta was trending on Twitter last night. And um, there's been multiple people coming out, um, reality stars, celebrities, radio jocks that has been talking about the situation between Erica Mena and dance hall legend Spice. Now, we've heard from people like um, Rich Dollars. We've heard from people like Tamar Braxton. We've heard from um, different people like Funky Dineva and different people um, that has been speaking on, but we haven't necessarily heard from the two people themselves that was involved in the argument. Well, Spice went live and she addressed the people who had some things to say about her talking about Erica's son not liking her. We're going to go ahead and get into the live that she posted. And then after we get into the live, we're going to go back and um, we're going to give our commentary. So let's get, so let's take a listen and we'll be right back that kids are off limits and they, they don't feel like I should have mentioned nothing about, you know, Erica's son or whatever the case may be. Let me just be very clear. It's not going to work, you know. That not going to work. <laughs> it not going to work. <laughs> Let me just be very clear. Um, I did not say anything bad about erica's son i really wanted to come and say this so i can close the door and just you know I, i'm not going to keep talking about it but i said i feel like like i said because it happened to me i just need to say my little thing and just move on from it i see people saying don't come for people kids answer the question what did i say about this child it's real quick. I see a few people saying that what bad did I say about the child? What derogatory thing did I say about the child? I did not say anything at all bad about her son. And so when I see people commenting, you don't come for someone's kid. I'm like, where did I go miss? Because I never said nothing bad about the child. Now for you talking about bad did I say about the child? What derogatory thing did I say about the child? I did not say anything at all bad about her son. And so when I see people commenting, you don't come for someone's kid. I'm like, where did I go miss? Because I never said nothing bad about the child. Now for you talking about. So Spice feels like she did not say anything remotely derogatory about the child itself. Now, what we can do is go into the part where the scene was played and we hear what Spice actually said. So let's get into that. Need to compare us though, because at the time any you, woman you would have. And why? Why would you compare? You're that he felt that wife. way. I was his wife, and he felt nothing. That don't have nothing to do with me. If he felt nothing for you, like so, it's just confusing. So you're like, telling why? me if you, you wear my shoes, you're telling me you wouldn't feel no type of way as a it, woman. What, what do you mean if I was in your shoes? In what if way? What you, do you mean? If, because if I feel you like your me. problem is Erica. You feel like you're the first woman to be divorced. That's the problem. Really? I feel like you're acting like you're the first woman to be divorced, and you're the first woman that's left with two children mm -hmm. to fend for. I've been doing it for 14 years. Welcome to the club. Girl, I've been doing it for nowhere. 16. Okay? 16. Okay, with 16 your son that don't teenager. like you. My son loves me. How do you know that's about my son? Yeah, I'm always making it about you. How do you know about my son? You said I know about my son. That's what you said. Start the conversation and say I know. 
All right. So that was actually the conversation that everybody been talking about when Spice said with the son that don't like you. Now, when we're talking about the situation, everybody keeps saying you should never talk about people's kids. You should never bring up nobody's child. And I agree. You should never bring up anybody's child or parenting. The thing about the situation is that Spice said nothing about the child. She said something about Erica as a parent. She said that Erica's son did not like her. Erica said, how do you know about my son? Spice said, you said it. You said it. You said it. So this is obviously something that Erica has already stated. This is something that Erica has already said. She's already made it clear that the son don't like her already. That's basically what Spice was saying. And she, yeah, I agree with Spice. She didn't say anything derogatory about about her child. What she did was attack Erica as a mother. And I feel like if Spice attacked Erica as a mother, Erica could have attacked Spice as a mother, in my opinion, because Spice kids don't live with her. Spice don't even have her damn kids. So if she wanted to attack something, she could attack the same thing that Spice attacked on her end, which is her motherhood. That's what she could have done. But the problem is that she took it and went to a racial standpoint. Calling a black person a monkey is racial. We've been having the same argument for the last week. It's the same thing. You're calling a black woman a monkey. You're disrespecting a Jamaican woman by calling her a monkey. When you take Jamaican, you got two Jamaican kids, but you feel like it's okay for you to respond by calling her a monkey. That is the first thing that came out of your mouth. That is the first thing that you could have thought of which is to call her a fucking monkey. I don't understand why that's the first thing you thought of, but that's just it. Spice was not necessarily right, as I said before, for attacking her motherhood. Um, the conversation wasn't about motherhood. The conversation was about their relationship and why is Erica speaking in a negative light on Spice to begin with. That's what the conversation was actually about. But instead, it turned into your son don't like you. And then it turned into you blue monkey. And I also saw an ignoramus in the comments saying she did not call Spice a black monkey. She called Spice a blue monkey. Girl, it's the same damn thing. She called her a monkey, basically, with a blue wig on. And you think that that's still not racial. You think that that's still okay for her to say that. I feel like people are stupid, ignorant, and obtuse. And then you want to come in my comments and let me know that just because someone doesn't have the same sentiments as me, that, that doesn't make them ignorant. It doesn't make them ignorant. But in my opinion, I feel like people that are very much so um, trying to sit there and tell me that, you know what I'm saying? To sit here and try to tell me that she wasn't being racist, you are being ignorant and you are being obtuse. When it comes down to colorism and racism, if it's not a white person doing it, black people become ignorant, unfortunately. And that's just the truth. If a white woman came out of her mouth and called Spice a damn monkey after Spice said something about her motherhood and a white woman said it, y'all would have been up in arms about it. But being that it's Erica Mena and she's a Latino woman, y'all are okay with that. Why is it that Latino women have the past to be racist towards black people? I'm not understanding that. Because definitely if it was a white woman, y'all would not be okay with it. And you shouldn't be okay with it anyway. But y'all wouldn't be okay with that if that's a white woman. So let's stop it with the cap. Let's stop the cap. That's all I'm saying. But anyways, with that being said, how do you guys feel about Spice's explanation and her addressing the comment that she made to Erica and Erica, um, Erica's comment towards her? I want to know what you guys got to say about that. Um, with that being said, you guys, this is Scotty by Nature. Be sure to like, rate, comment, subscribe, share this video, and also click on the notification bell so you can be notified whenever a video drops. If you want to follow me on any form of social media, my Twitter, my Instagram, and my TikTok will be down below. With that being said, you guys, your boys are out here. And until my next video, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.